530, a blossoming friendship between a Cardinals player and a Valley family is capturing hearts online. This all started with a little boy's belief in his favorite team. Fox 10's Lauren Clark shares the story. A simple act of kindness started it all. It was just a great moment to encourage them and make them think that they could win if they had a little bit more confidence. Abner Wong and his dad Jeff went to watch the Cardinals preseason game against the Kansas City Chiefs. At halftime, the team was trailing. As players ran through the tunnel into the lockers, Abner tried to cheer them up. I said, you got this, Cardinals. Moved, Cardinals tight end Trey McBride handed over a token of thanks to his little fan in the stands. So that's the towel that Trey McBride tossed you right in. Abner wasn't able to see his favorite football team win that night. Nah, they lost. But he was about to score something even better. I thought that'd be really cool if we could get the towel signed. And there's a Facebook group called Go Gilbert. So I hopped online and told the story. The right people saw his mom Jessica's post at the right time. Trey McBride reached out to the Wongs and he had more than just a signed towel in mind. Abner got to experience what most kids would only dream of, a whole afternoon with McBride in downtown Chandler. They grabbed burgers as Trey signed his jersey. I wasn't expecting to be able to have lunch with an NFL play player, so it was pretty amazing. Then dessert at Pie Snob. Please. I love Pie Snob. And even some one-on-one -on -one playing time. I got to learn a lot about him and we had a great time together. The beginning of a friendship built on encouragement and a positive spirit. As for Cardinals this season, Abner knows many are counting them out, but shares this message to Trey and all of his teammates. Your words are very powerful. So if you think positive and you tell yourself that you could do this and you keep moving on and you keep thinking good, that you'll always be able to. Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.